I put together this simple Python script to generate short stories. And what's really cool about it is that I'm using the best models out there. I'm asking GPT-40 to generate the script. Then I'm narrating that script using voices from the Morph API. And finally, the images you see come from DALI 3. Now I'll show you what I did and how I put everything together so you can take this code, make changes to it, make it your own and generate your own stories. It's pretty cool. The code is surprisingly simple and easy to understand and to run it, uh, you need a couple of things. First, get an OpenAI API key if you don't have one. This key is important to generate the script and the images. I guess you could use a different model, but my code uses OpenAI, so if you want to run it as is, you will need a key. The second thing you need is to generate a Morph API key to use their voices. Go and create a free account on their website. I'll put the link in the readme file. Now, a, a couple of things about this. First, when you create your account for the first time, you'll get 100,000 credits to use the Morph API for free. That's plenty. You are not gonna need more to run this example. And second, Morph is sponsoring this post. They've helped me a ton with the code, with how their API works. They are amazing. Thanks to them for helping me do this. By the way, their voices are really, really good. I think they did a blind test across different English accents and eight different languages and people, people that were listening, they picked up more voices eight out of 10 times as the more natural sounding voices. So they are really good, you, you listen to them. Here is the code, it's very, very simple. And all of the libraries that you need are going to be in the PyProject TOML file. By the way, I'm using UV to install uh, the whole thing here. So if, if you know how to use UV, uh, you're good to go. If not, uh, the commands that you have to run are UV in it. I think I added them here to the readme file. Here they are. So you're gonna start by doing UV in it, and then you're just gonna run the main file. And that's it. I explain here that you need a couple of environment variables. So first you need that OpenAI API key to generate the script and the images. And then you need the Morph API key and you can create that key for free going to this website right here. The explanation is right here in the readme file. But let's go back to the code, which is the interesting part. Uh, here, I'm going to start by just loading those variables, the environment variables, uh, probably you're familiar with the python.n library that will load those environment variables and that will allow the SDK to use those variables. So you don't have to worry too much about that. This is the prompt to generate the story. And my recommendation to you is to play with this prompt to create, you know, just go wild with this, okay? Because this is what's gonna be super fun. So the prompt is very simple. I'm asking ChatGPT uh, in this case, GPT-40, I'm asking it to generate it an eight-second script for a video, okay? So basically, that gives uh, GPT-40 approximately the length of the script of the story that I want to generate, okay? But what's really interesting here is that I'm forcing GPT-40, and you'll see that when I, when I call the API using the new responses API, I'm forcing it to return uh, a very structured script. And what I mean by structured is I want a JSON back and that JSON will have three attributes. So number one, it will have the text, which is the sentence of the script. Then it will have an image that it will go with that script, something that we're gonna generate that illustrates what's going on. And then finally, it will have the voice. And the voice here, I want GPT-40 to pick a voice from a list of potential voices that I want to use to narrate this script. So notice here, this is something that Morph does very well. 
they have a huge collection of voices in their library so here i'm picking a few of them so if we're going to be creating an inspirational video i'm asking gpt 40 to use to return as part of that script this terrell voice here okay it's a voice that sounds very well so for any inspirational videos I want to use that voice. For calm videos, I'm gonna be using Cutter, which is a different voice, etc., etc. So anyway, just play with this script because you're gonna have a ton of fun by doing it. So let's look at the code here. And I'm gonna start from the beginning of the code. There are not too many lines, 150 lines. So we're gonna go uh, pretty quickly through this. So first of all, I'm creating an OpenAI client. You probably are familiar with this already and I'm creating a morph client. The morph client is what's gonna let us use that API through their SDK. Now I'm gonna call the generate script function that I created. And here is where you're gonna specify what story you want to, to generate, okay? So in this case, it's a family that goes to a science museum and learns about the solar system. Now you, you can go wild with this and enter whatever story you want to create. So let's take a look at this generate script here. This is using the new responses API from GPT-40, which is really, really cool. So I'm using the GPT-40 here. I'm saying, well, the system prompt is the one, the long prompt that we created. The user is just gonna be asking to generate the story that I just show you, the story about the family going to the science museum. And this here, this is what's forcing GPT-4 to generate JSON. It's pretty strict, which is good because this will ensure that what you're getting back is a JSON object in this specific format. So again, you can check the documentation from the model and how that works. But here I'm just listing out the schema that I want back from the model. So you'll see I want an object. There should be an array of scenes and every scene should have an object inside with a text, the image and the voice that will be used for that scene. And then, you know, those are gonna be required parameters, et cetera, et cetera. So, you can just check this out on their documentation. Pretty cool stuff because I ensure that the format that comes back from generating that script is the format that I'm going to be expecting. Then so here, after I get a response from the model, I'm just gonna turn it into a JSON so I can just deal with that JSON going forward. All right, so let's go back down. And here I just create this array and I'm gonna go through every scene that was created by GPT-40. And for every scene, I'm going to generate an image and we're gonna see what that function looks like, very simple. Then we're gonna generate the voiceover using Murph. And then finally, I'm going to append the image and the voiceover in this array and I'm gonna pass it to this function that's called generate video. So let's see the generate image again using the OpenAI SDK to call DALI3. And here I'm passing the prompt. I'm setting those images to be 1024 by 1024, quality standard, and I'm asking it to generate only one image because that's the one that we're gonna be using. That's it, so pretty, pretty simple. I get the URL back, and that is what I'm going to be saving in the movie array to generate that movie later on. So that's the generate image. Now the generate voiceover, this again is using the Morph SDK. So you can see here, I just go to the text-to-speech portion of that API. I pass the text that I want to generate and I pass the name of the voice, the ID of the voice, English, uh, Terrell, whatever the name is, that I, I'm gonna use to animate that text or to you know voice over that text. And then I'm just gonna return that audio file, which is gonna be a URL as well for, for the audio. All right, so after that, after just generating this for each one of the scenes, I'm just gonna go to the generate video function and again, this is using, if you go here to the Pi project, that is using the movie Pi Y library to just put together everything. So it's a very simple function. It, I have a clips array here. I go through every single scene in that movie. Remember, there is just, it's not a tuple, but I have two values. I have the, the URL of the image that was generated and the URL of the audio that was generated. I'm gonna download the image URL 
I'm gonna download the audio URL and then I'm just gonna create, I'm gonna just put those two together as a clip and I'm gonna add it here to the array of clips. And finally, I'm going to concatenate all of those video clips and all of that is functionality from the Movie PY library. So I'm gonna concatenate all of those video clips into one final video.mp4 file. So you can see here, I'm gonna write that video. So you're gonna see it in your, as part of your project, you're gonna see it right there. Here is one that I generated off camera here. Frames per second, 24, and this is the codec, and that's it. So if you wanna run this, you will go and you will do UV, run, Python, and then the name of the file, which is main, and this will generate a new video. So let's do that so you have an idea of how long it's gonna take. Remember, this is going to GPT-40 to generate that script. It's gonna come back as a JSON file. Then for every one of those scenes, because we are going to get a list of scenes back from GPT-40, for every one of those scenes, we are gonna get that text. And we're gonna ask Dali to generate an image that illustrates whatever is happening in that particular scene. And then we're gonna take the text and send it to Merv to, to just voice over, to just basically read out loud that text. We're gonna get back the URL of the image, we're gonna get back the URL of the audio, and then using the Movie PY library, we're gonna put them together into what looks like like a consecutive video. Now, of course, this is going to be the result here, even though it's gonna sound very good. It's just with the images and whatnot, it's just, just static images, this is just for fun. But hopefully it illustrates how cool the tech is, like how far we've come to a point where we can actually generate uh, this type of content without any human intervention. Like the whole thing can be completely auto-generated by, by a model. I don't think this is Hollywood quality or anything like that because it's just not a movie, it's just an illustrated like story. But it's pretty fun for like kids, it's pretty fun for like adults who want to learn how to use the tech. I think that's, that's amazing. All right, so here it is, the video is done. Let me just double click on it and Play it. The Jackson family arrives at the bustling science museum. Inside, they are greeted by a gigantic model of the solar system. The children gaze in awe at the swirling planets and stars. Their father explains how the planets orbit the sun. They visit an interactive exhibit about lunar phases. The mother shares a fun fact about Mars being called the red planet. The family ends their day by watching a planetarium show. Okay, so uh, there you have it. I think it's pretty cool to, you know, test and explore these technologies. Thank you again to Moore for sponsoring this post. Keep being awesome, keep implementing your ideas, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.